Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Party Pilot Camera Tracking How To Edition. So if you haven't seen my video already, this is my video of the RD Pilot Redback Spider drone, this guy right here, with the A8 mini gimbal camera mounted underneath, tracking my Glass Star RC plane autonomously. It's really very cool. But as soon as I posted that video, I got questions. Well, how does that work? And I thought I'd just do a quick video to explain the simple configuration in RD Pilot to make that happen. It's actually not that difficult. So what I've got here on the screen is Mission Planner connected to the Redback Spider. In the parameter list, the simple answer is two things. One is some configuration needs to happen on this drone, on this vehicle, to tell it to point the camera to the other plane. So that's what we'll show you first. And the parameters we're setting for that are MNT, and in this case, MNT1. Autopilot supports at least two cameras on a plane, so, but this is the first camera. So this is MNT, or camera mount, number one. And the mode here is the most important one, and that is the SysID target mode. So normally, if you're using a, a gimbal camera, you might use... Uh, for example, I like to set up my sliders on my transmitter to pan and tilt. You can also, for example, use a head tracker and that will also work with RC targeting. But to get SysID targeting work to work, you need to set this to SysID target, which is default mode five. And the only other thing you need to do that is not the basic setup of the CE camera, which there's a separate, uh, there's a, or whichever camera you're using. I mean, all of these other mount parameters are specific to your particular camera. So I'm using the, the CE A8 Mini. All of these parameters have been set up for the A8 Mini, but if you have a different camera, you would set those parameters according to how your camera works and what's the maximum travel and all those kinds of things. Don't need to do that for this, uh, or it will work regardless. Once you have that set up, the ID targeting will work. All you need to do, the only other thing you need to do is set the sys ID default here. So this value needs to be the Mavlink sys ID of the target plane. That is the other plane. So I'll show you that now because that's the only other thing we need to do. And most important thing is that, uh, and I do this now for all of my vehicles in ID Pilot, Every plane has its own ID. Every plane, every drone has its own ID. By default, it's one. And normally you don't have to worry about it. One works fine. But for example, in this case, I have the, um, the cube red running on this plane. The cube red has two flight controllers in it. How do you differentiate between the two flight controllers? Well, you set the sys ID this map for one of them and you set it to a different value for the other one. For the primary, cube red primary, I have it set to 30. And for cube red secondary, I have it set to 31. And so that's it here. Sys ID this map, there it is, 30. For the cube red primary on the glass star, it's set to 15. So the glass star thinks of itself as sys ID 15. So when it sends Madeline packets out over the radio connection, then it will send them and say, hey, this is vehicle number 15, and I'm here. I'm exactly this, GPS, lat, long, and altitude. And that is how this camera need, knows that it needs to point to that particular camera ID because it identifies it as ID 15. So this is how the glass star does its end of the communication. The GPS here on the plane connects to the Zell H743 flight controller inside. And then that's connected to this. There's one of these mounted inside the plane here, a SIK or SIC telemetry radio, Hollybrook SIC telemetry radio. And that sends a Mavlink feed 
to the drum. Now what I have to make that work is the plane, the flight controller, parameters, sys ID this mav is set to 15. This is 15 that actually matches my receiver ID. It's a standard that I use. I have uh, always used um, receiver matching and I always set that sys ID MAV ID to the same number. So this plane is number 15 and that sends MAVLink traffic sys ID 15 to the drone. The last thing I just want to talk about is the, the lag. Now, if you watched this video, the previous video about the camera tracking, you will have noticed that there was some uncomfortable lagging and sometimes the plane would fly and it would, the camera would lose it and then it would catch up. And that was communications lag because of the way I had the communications between the plane and the, the drone set up indirectly through my ground station. So what I've done now is I have I've set it up like this. I have set up and configured a SIC telemetry radio here on this drone and a SIC telemetry radio on the plane. Now normally with the SIC telemetry radios from Hollyborough, you would configure and have one of them running on your drone and one of them running on your ground station so the ground station gets telemetry from the drone. I haven't done that. What I've done is I've set it up so that the two planes talk together using that telemetry radio. So that's how we get this and check out this video with the really precise and uh, real-time tracking of the plane and it never loses the picture, it never loses the drone because the radios are communicating directly. The plane has a sick telemetry radio in it, the drone has a sick telemetry radio in it and those two um, planes talk together directly in the air and the plane sends the, the GPS location direct to the drone as it's flying. It's very, very cool. So it's really that simple.